These are three of the most important questions I have for you today. We're going to talk a lot about pushing your practice in the right direction. Now you can call this vision, you can call it clarity, you can call it mission, you can call it whatever it is. But you have to be clear with yourself. You can lie to me, but you've got to be honest with yourself about dentistry. And I want you to do this. When you close your eyes and you fast forward 10 years from now, I want you to tell me what do you see? If you're 47 right now, and 10 years from now you're going to be 57, I want you to tell me what you see. I want you to tell me about the drive up to your practice, and you park in your parking spot, and you get out of your car, and you walk through the back door of your office. I want you to tell me what you see. Then the second thing I want you to do is tell me how you feel. Okay? You got to be really clear about that. And then the third thing I'm going to ask you to do is that if I meet you when you're 57, tell me what kind of person you've become in order to get there. And if the answer doesn't energize you, you're in for a long haul. If you tell me 10 years from, you know, I'm 37, 10 years from now, I'll be 47, and you know what, I don't see it getting any better. I wouldn't want to be on your team. I wouldn't want to practice with you. I wouldn't want to be your periodontist. These are very, very important questions. You've got to be able to answer those questions. One of the things that people always ask me, this is a constant question I get all the time, is how do I motivate these people? How do I motivate these people? These people are they're killing me, right? I got a better question for you. What do they have to be motivated about? Okay? Being successful in dentistry has less. It's less about trying to artificially motivate people. Because I don't know, maybe you'll be affected, maybe you'll be upset today, maybe you'll be a little bit motivated, whatever, but it's going to last for about a day. That's it. Then you're going to go back to your practice, and it's going to all change or it won't change. Being successful in dentistry is less about artificially motivating people, and it's more about giving people something to be authentically motivated about. If you love what you're doing, if you drive to your practice and you park in that parking space and you say, Kirk, I love it. I get out, I got my venti skim mocha, no whip from Starbucks at the drive through I walk in, I sit down with my team of five and I go, I love you guys. This is great stuff. I love it. You know, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. But I love this. I love you. You're great. You're awesome. You scared the hell out of me. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's a great place to be. There's nowhere better to be. You know, you don't ever get to where you're going. You don't. But part of the thing in dentistry, this is tough work. This is a lot of tough work. And the greatest compensation you could ever give to yourself as a dentist is to be excited about where you're going. That's the greatest compensation you could ever give to yourself. That's why a lot of people take these courses. They go to Pankin, they go to Dawson, they go to LBI. Because what happens is that some of them don't do a darn thing. They don't do anything with the information. They do nothing. But you know what? They come back to their practices, and for some reason, they find meaning. And they're now excited about where they're going. 